President Trump and she had a 90-minute phone call today about their ongoing trade dispute. Mr. Trump said it was a good conversation, and the Chinese leader said he hoped it could lead to a win-win solution for the United States and China. In the meantime, China has restricted exports of rare earth elements needed by American industry. Jason Allen looks at efforts to make the U.S. less dependent on China for those elements. Buried in this mountain, in a remote part of West Texas, are the metals that could power America's future. They're called rare earths, a group of 17 elements used in many of the world's most advanced technologies, including semiconductors, electric cars, and guided missiles used by the military. Those minerals then have to be turned into magnets. And to see that happen, you almost have to go to China. They produce as much as 95% of the world's rare earth magnets. But there is a company in Oklahoma that is trying to change that. How far behind are we right now? Oh, I'd say we're a good 10, 15 years behind. Joshua Ballard is the CEO of USA Rare Earth, a company trying to bring this critical supply chain back to the U.S. Inside this warehouse, they're rushing to assemble massive machines that will eventually produce up to 5,000 tons of magnets, about 10 percent of U.S. demand. Why is it important to have a domestic supply? So right now, we have to ask permission from China uh, in order to get the magnets and the minerals we need for our defense technologies. I mean, this is an incredible choke point for this country. They showed us this small-scale lab that's already showcasing what's possible. Engineers there are refining the volatile metals, cooking and compressing them into tiny but powerful magnets. They don't look like much, but you grab one and you try to just pull them apart and you realize how powerful they really are. I cannot get this apart. When you think about all these new technologies, whether it's in your phone, there's probably 12 magnets if you have an iPhone, uh, a car, there's up to 40 magnets in a car. And the strength of them allows you to create smaller technologies with the power of the magnet. And while companies like USA Rare Earth will eventually help lessen our dependence on China, Ballard says that's still a long way off. That was Jason Allen reporting from Stillwater, Oklahoma. And Jason tells us the company will have all the equipment it needs to mass produce those magnets by early next year.